Today in our discussion on fetishes, I will be looking at the commodity fetish, but also looking at how it links to one of the major sexual fetishes. The term fetish is most often associated with the sexual fetish. We are all aware of the common sexual fetishes, including BDSM, roleplay and foot fetishes. A fetish can be described as an excessive and irrational devotion or commitment to a particular thing. In general, fetishes are based around the shift of sexual desire from an individual to an object. The commodity fetish is based around the idea that it is natural to measure the value of things with money. The commodity fetish explains how brands like Gucci and Adidas can sell slides for over $400 while Target sells them for $15, when the only discernible difference is the printed branding on them. The consumer will spend copious amounts of money on items that have reduced for way under their shelf price because they value the identity that the brand claims to give them. In the same way Nike sells the idea of athletic success, when you buy Chanel, you are not just buying clothes or perfume, you are buying the idea of glamour, sophistication and class. The brand's identity becomes more value and desirable than their actual products. They feed off the consumer's desire and need for identity that the brand gives them. Brands like Ralph Lauren sell the class and sophistication of the European man. The consumer's desire for the identity and brand recognition blinds them from the fact that their only difference between their Ralph Lauren shirt and the one from Kmart is an embroidered polo logo. This small logo increases the perceived value of the product. For young people, their values lie not in the status and class, but rather in staying current and relevant. Their desire for authenticity and relevance fuels a commodity fetish where they are not trying to obtain the sophistication of high-end brands, but rather the attention of their peers. For this, they will fork out money to no end on the latest trends. Part of the appeal of commodity fetishes is the way brands create a whole world, lifestyle and identity around their products. Big online companies such as Sheen and Pretty Little Things closely follow trends and offer such a huge range of items that it is easy to get swept up amongst the sheer quantity of products. With banners all over their website offering all sorts of sales and discounts, they draw the consumer in with their promise of a good deal. With the addition of Afterpay, which allows consumers to shop now and pay later, they really enable and entice people with a commodity fetish to indulge and treat themselves. Like the common shoe fetish, commodity fetishes around shoes are quite common. To some people, shoes become a statement about who they are and their values. And it is often the case that particularly in women, there is a desire to always have more shoes and to have the perfect shoe. Part of the reason why shoes are often the subject of desire and want is their sexual connotations. Aside from their functional use to protect our feet, shoes often play an important role in the way we see ourselves and the way we view others. William A. Rossi suggests that the foot is an erotic organ and the shoe is this sexual covering. The human foot possesses a natural sexuality whose powers have borne remarkable influence on all people and cultures throughout history. The development of the shoe industry and the common lust for the perfect shoe directly conveys a psychosexual message. High heel shoes, which are commonly sought after by those wrapped up in a commodity fetish of surrounding shoes, are designed to tilt a woman's body forward and change the way she walks to accentuate the breasts. And in general, women are willing to be uncomfortable if they believe that they are looking glamorous and sexually alluring. While the commodity fetish isn't explicitly sexual in nature, it entices the same feelings of desire and satisfaction that the typical sexual fetishes do, enabling consumers to engage with consumerism in the same sexual nature of those engaging in sexual fetishes.